guys and today I'm going to show you how to use the automation tool in Logic Pro X. So as you can see on this track I have used automation on the beat which shows that from the beginning there it should be quiet and then it should get louder towards the end of that specific section. So if you can hear there it gets louder so you can finally hear it at the end. I'll just solo it to start off with so that you can hear it better. So there, you can see that it gets louder at the end. To do this, you will need to, first of all, it'll look like this with no automation on it. And to get this to come up, you'll need to click on the show automation tool. And then that will bring up this, which will show the line. And to be able to automate like I did up there, you'll need to make little dots. So when the dots appear, that's when you can drag things up and down. So if it starts off loud, it'll get off quiet like I've done here. I'll just mute that one. And I'll mute these as well. So obviously you can hear these getting quieter. Okay, and another thing that I'm going to show you is how to automate pan. Like automation with volume, this doesn't affect it getting like that, where you'd be able to drag it and see it going down and up. Instead, because it's panning, it only goes left or right. So you get a green line here. And you can see it it'll instantly go to each of her. So if you're hearing through headphones now you'll be able to tell that it's going to different ears. Like now you can only hear it on the right whereas now you can only hear it on the left. Right so that's how you arm it or how you arm it pan. Alright thanks for watching.